Okay, so welcome back. Uh, just one more short note that I wanted to make at the end of the chapter. One of the main, well, I wouldn't say a main thing, but this is something that you should definitely know. These, This is a concept known as comments. Now, comments are completely irrelevant to the compiler. They're completely irrelevant to the machine. They are ignored. In fact, after the define statement, they are all deleted by the compiler as it doesn't really care much for them. However, uh, let's say you write a function or you have a variable like this one. You can create a comment and say var is for something. Here you would basically explain here you basically explain what this variable is for and why have you written it here or something like that. You will it is very good to put comments in your code. In fact, like if you don't put comments in your code, people will scream at you. People will be very mad at you. Most likely because if you're working in a group a project on a project where multiple people are working on the same code and if you submit your code to somebody else and that you don't have any comments in it explaining what is what they will probably just return it to you and say I don't understand this please comment it out even though they probably do understand it but it would take a ton load of time for them to go through every single function and try to figure out what it means just by running the code and examining the function individual examining the functions individually so it is much better to have description above the lines of code that you believe that you should describe that are not self-explanatory so that whoever reads the code and whoever needs to work on it next will be able to orient it them, orient it themselves with great ease now there are several when you comment something out it is excluded from it is ex it is ignored by the compiler. Uh, it does it does not make any difference in the code or, or to the machine or anything like that. So you can put whatever you want in the comments. These are single line comments. You can write them if you put slash slash. You can write whatever you want in this single line. But as soon as you go to the next line, it is no longer a comment. There is another way of commenting things, which is slash asterisk and then asterisk slash. Now everything in between is a comment. You should, people tend to, uh, I don't know, do these things for aesthetic reasons. Like just put these things uh, one below the one below the other, and I don't know. Now they now they write something. Hey, here's here. Well, I do not know there should be something. Now these asterisks here are completely irrelevant. I can delete them like this. But everything that you place in between these two is pretty much considered a comment. So this is a multi-line comment and this is for longer descriptions or something like that. But as I said, you have single line comments where you can put your descriptions here and you can basically place them one below the other which is also a neat trick also if you want for example exclude something from the code temporarily just to see what happens you can just comment it out and it's or you can comment out an entire section and just see how the code behaves without that particular section or you can leave it commented out you can leave it commented out so that a portion of a code is embedded in the program but it is left there and maybe at some future point in time somebody will find it useful so they can just uncomment it and immediately use it. So this is just a brief concept that I wanted to explain to you, something that is very important, something that you will use a lot, I sincerely hope, and hopefully you have understood what I have explained here, what the comments are, what they are for, there really isn't that much to say in regard to comments themselves. Two types of them, one more time, single line and multi-line comments, that's it. Just write the description of your code, state what everything means in your code, 
and be as much be as much of be very helpful to your colleagues who will work on the same code. Uh, they will appreciate it, believe me, and I am pretty sure that they will return the favor to you because if you get somebody's code that's uncommented, you will see how difficult is it to read it. No matter how good you are, uh, it's gonna take a ton load of your time. Anyway, I wish you a great deal of luck with this course and I bid you farewell until next chapter.